is not even quarry first imagine this you are really in a dark room with a red ball or first you can't see any color right because there is no light now imagine this you place the same red ball under a green light the red ball looks green right because green light doesn't contain red color so what exactly color is one thing we all know that is sunlight contains all colors within it when sunlight hits the red ball the surface of the ball reacts with the light in a cool way the molecules in the ball color takes most light but not the red ones those red wavelengths reflected from the ball surface into our eyes making us to see color red the reason things have different different color is because how they takes light in and how they reflect back this was true for all of us think about plants they use sunlight to make food in a process called photosynthesis in photosynthesis green chlorophyll in the leaves grabs sunlight and turns carbon dioxide and water into glucose which is the food for the plant now here is the interesting part chlorophyll doesn't take green light so it doesn't really help with photosynthesis that's why plants might look greener when they need a lot of energy to grow but when plants are not doing much photosynthesis the amount of chlorophyll goes down this can change the color of the leaves making them look light orange or yellow instead of green natural sunlight uses all the colors but artificial like fluorescent or incandescent bulbs might have their own color preferences these chains can alter how colors appear making them seem more or less vibrant or lighter or darker compared to natural light have you ever thought about whether white and black are color well in the world of pets they are white reflects all the colors of light while black takes all the colors but in terms of light itself white is when you have all the colors together and black is when there is no light Now let's talk about buildings. You might have noticed that many buildings are painted white, especially in hot places. That is because white reflects most of the sunlight, which keeps the building cooler, saves energy, and cooling. Plus, white looks cleaner, classy. So it is popular choice for making buildings look good. Black buildings are not as common because black colors takes more sunlight, making inside hotter and causing potential problems. Also, dark buildings might need extra care to prevent sun from damaging outside. Primary colors: red, blue, and green. These are like the building blocks of all other colors. When we mix these primary colors together, we get a whole bunch of new colors. This happens things like digital screen and art. For example, digital screens use RGB work, mixes red, green, and blue light to create all colors. But in printing, they use the CFYK model, which combines layer of transparent ink to make all colors. There is also the HSL model, allows us to adjust color more easily by changing things like hue, saturation, and brightness. So these various models helps us in creating and changing colors in many ways. 